Hi all folks, this is Max from htcevohacks.com So the word around the street is that there's root, permanent root for the Evo 3D. So let's get on to it. So, um, hello there. Um, so let's uh, put your phone, um, make sure it's in settings, uh, go to applications, and development make sure your USB debugging is checked on as you can see there alright and then we're gonna have to get the serial number for the uh, your phone so we can do this by using ADB so let's go to our computer make sure it's connected to your computer go download a uh, root evo 3d dot zip and if you unzip it you'll get this folder right here um, and you can move this folder just move it into the root directory of your C drive, your hard disk. By the way, this is on Windows. Um, I'll have instructions on uh, Linux and Mac later. And actually, you need to install these drivers. Um, it's actually in the folder root Evo 3D. So double click on HCC driver 3.0.0.007.exe and uh, install it. Sorry, it's, my computer is bugging out. So it's installing now, as you can see. Um, so let it install. Um, I have Korean font, that's why it's showing in Korean. And uh, it'll say HCC driver is being installed. So when this is complete, um, we'll go keep going. Once uh, you've uh, installed the drivers, you should be able to see my HCC under Android USB devices. Next, we're going to open up a command prompt uh, by typing cmd under start search. And uh, you'll get this command prompt. And we'll browse to the directory um, wherever you move the root Evo 3D. So we do cd backslash. Um, root evo 3d like that and uh, you'll get into the directory and just do adb devices and uh, if you get something hc something like that that's your serial number so copy it over so I copied it over to my or you can just write it down make sure it's the same we'll need it for uh, the locking key anyway uh, if you don't get this that means um, you have not installed the Evo 3D Windows drivers correctly so I hope you do that first and then you should be able to get this and once you've done that we gotta find out our HBoot number so let's go back to our phone hi all folks so next we're gonna put it into fast boot mode um, to do this you actually have to take the battery out um, so just take your case off by putting your nail there and then I think it's one of the side comes out first. Yes, the one with the buttons, camera buttons. Uh -uh. Or is it this side? No, it's the other way. All right, it's almost off. Just work at it. All right, and take the battery out. We we'll just leave it off, or we'll leave the case off, back case, and then hold down the uh, volume down. I can't find it anymore. There we go. It's kind of hard to press without the case. Actually, no, I'm just going to put the case back on. It's kind of a pain. So take the battery out, and then hold down the volume down, and then the power button. All right. So it will say, the H boot. I've got the 1.440 uh, as you can see. All right, and now I can. All right, now I can put it in fast boot. I think. Hold on. Now you can see that it says S on, which means you can't. Um, that means the bootloader bootloader is locked. Um, but this routing method will give us S off and also ability for us to have permanent root. Um, so, let's just reboot it. 
Uh, I'm gonna just go to reboot. Ah. So I'm gonna reboot it, and while that's rebooting, um, let's go to the. Let's go get our um, serial. Let's get our key for this. Next, uh, you're gonna open up a browser like this, and. Uh, Open up uh, revolutionary.io, that's the site that will give you the key. And go down to downloads, just hit where uh, download for Windows. All right, and then you don't, you don't have to finish the download because actually, all the files I've already put it into the Evo uh, root evo3d.zip, so you don't need to download it again. Just uh, pick Windows system evo3d hboot 1.40. 1.3 zero if you have that one and then copy over the serial number you got earlier and then hit generate key and uh, we'll get a generate key uh, 5c something and I'm just gonna copy over to my my notepad um, so you can use that and you can close all that up and then once your phone has rebooted all right just go back to uh, root evo 3D and type uh, revolutionary.exe. All right, and then it's gonna ask you enter beta key. So copy over the the beta key you got earlier from the website, and then just paste it and press enter, and then it'll start rooting, and uh, it should give you s off. Um, this will give you s off, meaning you can do a lot of things. Install. Uh, permanent SU and later on install new ROMs. So it says acquiring root, sending in Caroline, cleaning up, rebooting to fast boot. When life gives you lemons, you uh, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Uh, but it's waiting for fast boot and it's actually uh, in fast boot and it's rebooting again. I'll just show you my phone so you can see the progress. And it's gonna reboot into fast boot again. And it's gonna do the S off. It still says S on. And rebooting to fast boot again yet again. Uh -huh. And hopefully we'll have an S off. Alright, we got S off right there. Do you see that? You see that? Let me give you a close up. Look at that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Take it out. So, I've got it in S off now. Um, it's a miraculous revolutionary tool, thanks to the guys who created this. Don't forget to donate to these great guys. Um, and now it uh, says revolutionary at the top. And uh, it says, do you want to download and flash clockwork mod recovery? Um, just hit yes. And you should have internet connection, hopefully. And uh, hopefully, this will install recovery too. It will be good. And it says flashing recover recovery over fast boot. All right. And uh, it says success. So we've got our phone S off and. Uh, uh, with the um, the new recovery. So what are we gonna do? Let's go back to our phone. Real quick. Ah, I dropped it. So we're gonna uh, actually install the new um, SU files. So from here, uh, we're gonna hit power button to bootloader, and then go down to recovery. All right, and hopefully we'll get clockwork mod recovery now. Permanent clockwork mod recovery. And voila. And what we're gonna do is uh, mount it as a disk drive. So go to mountain storage right there. All right, hit the power button. Go down to mount USB storage. Zoom there for you. And hit the power button. 
and then you should have um, it should mount on your computer so let's go to your computer and copy over the SU file real quick so go back into the Evo root 3D um, copy right click on SU uh, blah 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 that's it and copy and go to your uh, this is my Evo 3D SD card and just paste it on here so I've got it copied over and then let's go back to our phone and we can unmount it now so hit power and then go back volume up and power and then we're gonna um, zip the SU file so go to install zip from SD card hit the power button choose zip from SD card hit the power button and select the SU uh, blah 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 that zip that we just copied over hit the power button and go to yes hit the power button and it says um, error in oh I don't know what happened there so my phone rebooted um, it's doing some kind of activation, just don't worry about it. It'll do its thing. But it actually reboot it twice, so don't get alerted if that happens to you. And uh, I'll be back when this is done. This it will try to um well, I'll just leave it on. Maybe I can keep rambling. So it's trying to con connect to the network. Um I think it's because it's been reset it. So, it says it's been activated, so I'm going to click OK, and uh, click OK. Oh, you know what? I didn't lose any of my apps with the rooting method. So I guess you don't lose it. This is my first time trying it, so. So you don't have to bother backing up anything. Alright, so I've got it. My phone's working again. I've got super user. Let me see if it works. Alright, it's working. Um, okay, let me run Wi Fi Tether real quick. So, I actually had a video on how to back up your stuff, but you don't need to now. But I'll put it out there anyways for um, other people. So my phone 3D is rooted and my Wi-Fi tether is working. I'm getting free Wi-Fi tether. And uh, this is awesome. Now I don't have to permatemp root it every time. Anyway, that's how you root your Evo 3D. And uh, make sure we've learned before that uh, um, HTC might lock our devices again. And uh, just make sure you root your phone and have S off because you can always go back to S on but sometimes you can lose the ability to go from um, S on to S off with software updates anyway go root your phone um, give you nine extra lives and whatnot and everything's working perfect I have a rooted Evo 3D and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because every subscription counts and this is what I do for a living and and thanks y'all for subscribing and uh, you can subscribe to my email list at hccevohacks.com also that would be awesome so I can alert you when we whenever I have new information like this so see y'all later thanks bye bye